Hello, this is Ramirez from Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts. And today I'm here with Tim. We are doing some heart expectant activities. And we are basically exploring upward and downward strikes, defenses, and attacks. So we're going to do some simple things. These are some things that we'll do just to explore, see what's possible. And it's not a bad exercise or drill if you're kind of new to heart inspecting. So there are two shots that are fairly common. An upward shot towards the face or a downward shot. Generally towards the face, but it's with the body and arms. That's generally the top of the attack. So what we've done is we're doing an exercise where Tim is going to do a low attack. I am going to counter that low attack by raising him to a high guard, descending down into his arm. I'm going to reverse my grip so my pinky is towards the point of my blade. And he is going to come with his thumb forward so that he can effectively thrust upward at me. As he does that, I'm going to counter my step and drop my point into his arm, elbow, or I can drop it into the shoulder. A couple of things that are important in this. When we go into the parry, I want my gauntlet more or less against his. This is gonna give me a lot of leverage. So as he comes in, I make sure to get up here. I'm not trying to do this up here where there's play. I wanna be right here. And when I bring my hilt upwards, I'm gonna press his arm down to focus have him step out. That way these targets are going to become available. If I did it without that, so here, now he has room to play around and try to counter that. So I want to make sure that when I do this attack, if he comes in, I want to get a hold, my arm against his, then drop into this position. We were also exploring what happens with the reverse. So in this case, he is coming down at me. Already got a big advantage being a big guy. I'm going to stay in a forward guard, either slightly high, slightly low, doesn't really matter at this point. He is going to take his thrust, I'm going to do mine across, and I want to, once again, now that I have this, I'm dropping down into the body, um, because once again, my idea is that I'm powering, then raising. I think we just did that. That was correct. Okay. Yep. Did you want to turn to get it from the other side? Sure. So once again, I'm coming down at Tim. I meant me, you, okay, you yeah, on yeah. this side so right. they see the open yes, side. Yes, yes. So he's coming down at me, I'm crossing, dropping, finding my point. And that's with me coming up. If I'm coming up immediately, yeah. So I'm attacking you again. Well, I'm, okay, yeah. That's how the spin works. Right, right, you right. do it again if we haven't changed All right. anything. Alright, so you can just come up. Now this one, I'm going to turn. And this time I'm going to get my guard towards this. And I want you to see this. So come up in the camera. I'm bringing my hill towards his gauntlet. His arm's against me. And what that's doing is creating a leverage point. I've got my uh, pommel against his elbow. And if I can, my guard against his wrist. As it happens, I can't even let go of the sword to get out of this because he's got my thumb pressed in against my blade. Yeah, so as I do this, now I can press, I can wrestle. Uh, this is generally bad for Tim. So these are just some thoughts. What I would encourage you to do if you, you know, want to practice this is just go very slowly. Say who is attacking with a high attack low. And who's attacking with a low attack high? Because we were kind of working on this just dim propping, and then just go slow. Also remember, if you have your grip this way, or this way, we'll change the mechanics. If he attempts to block my hand, with my hand like this, I can just let go and escape. If my wrist's on top, he will trap my blade. So I'd like you just to demonstrate that real quick. Tim. So yeah. um, just go ahead and put your blade through. Okay. If he presses on my hand right now, I have to do something else to get out of this. 
If, however, I'm like this and he does that, big deal. I can grab the plate, I can do other things. So make sure that you're taking notes on whether or not you are thumb forward or pinky forward on the point and on the guard. So once again, simple exercises, uh, something we were doing earlier today. We're about to get ready to do our sparring. And uh, once again, my name is Ramirez. This is Tim, one of my other one of our other instructors here at Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts. We're based in Norfolk, Virginia. And I will see you in the next video.